Hey y'all, Arshay here, Realtor with Caremark Realty Group, and today is Wednesday, which means I have some tips that I think can help you win in your home buying journey. Now today's video is actually a part two of a video that I did a little while back, and that video was about the steps in the home buying process. So today we're gonna finish off those steps. But before we do that, I'm definitely going to recap. Now step one of the home buying process is to connect yourself with a realtor which would be me or someone else of your liking. I'm okay with that. And then once you connect yourself with a realtor, you're going to connect with the loan officer. Most likely your realtor can connect you with the loan officer. And the reason why you need a loan officer is so that you can get a pre-approval. Now that you have a pre-approval, you can move to step three, which will help you make a wish list for um, the home of your dream or the investment property of your dreams, right? The pre-approval helps you to know what's your price range and now you can start kind of building out what it is that you want your home to look like. Then step four is to actually go out and start home shopping. Now in step four, the goal is that you actually pick a property so that we can move to step five. But to be honest, step four, sometimes it may take time. You may look at the first property you see may be the property of your dreams and it may be the 20th property that you see becomes a property that you were looking that you were interested in it takes time but the whole goal is to pick a property so that we can move to step five and one thing i want to say when you pick your property try not to be so hung up on the cosmetics and think about the long long term and bigger picture which is the memories that you can create there the equity the appreciation and the tax benefits all of that should come into play when you pick your property okay so now, now let's move to step five, which is to write an offer. Now, when you're going to write an offer, it's important that your realtor gives you a comparative market analysis, also known as a CMA. That way you can make an educated offer, one that's fair to you and fair to the market. Okay. Now within step five, when you're making an offer, it's important to also talk about the earnest money. I'm going to talk about earnest money in a different video, but how I look at earnest money is, um, putting money down to show good faith that you're serious about the transaction, that you really want the property and you're going to do everything that you need to do on your end to ensure that the transaction goes smoothly, right? Um, and whoever defaults on the contract, that person is the one who usually loses the earnest money. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're serious when you're writing that offer and you're putting your earnest money down on the table. All right, now we can move to step six, which is the attorney. Sorry, so most likely your um, real estate agent, once the offer is accepted, you go under contract. And at that point, your real estate agent will loop in all the necessary um, partners, which would be the attorney and the loan officer, and of course yourself, and of course the realtor. So your attorney will most likely already have been met, but you still wanna consider that a step because having an attorney is very important. Attorney prices range, and I'll let you I'm sorry, not well. You're if you're working with me, you'll most likely um, talk to and have research on some attorneys so that you can figure out who's the best attorney for you. Now that you have your attorney, you're under contract. You have your your attorney. That was step six. Now we're going to move to step seven, which is the inspection. Now inspection is a third party person coming in to um, basically let you know what the house house is worth based off of the condition of the home. Inspection fees can range anywhere from $350 to $600 could be more could be less it all depends on the property is it a single family home is it a multi-unit so those things matter when you're picking an inspector but remember your realtor can give you a few different options of inspectors so that you can find who's best for you okay so now you have your attorney you have your inspection now we can move to step eight which is the appraisal now, the appraisal is usually um, looped into the cost that uh, that your attorney, I'm sorry, so sorry. The appraisal is paid by your loan officer and or paid by the bank. And the purpose of, of an appraiser is so that they can come in to really say what the house is worth. Now, if your property appraised at the asking price or the price that you offer, then you're all good to go. But if the property doesn't appraise, then you most likely will have to ask the seller to bring the property, um, bring the property price down to what the appraisal said, or you just do some negotiations. And the negotiation 
negotiations can be uh, a few different things and we could talk about that a little bit later okay so we said you're going to write an offer you're going to have an attorney you're going to have an inspection you're going to have an appraisal and then if all of that goes smooth you're going to go to closing you get a clear to close from your uh, loan officer from the bank and then you go to closing closing is the most exciting part but could be a little frustrating because there's a lot of paperwork that goes into it there's a lot of key things that you need to listen to as the attorneys talk um but the whole goal of that is so that you can get your keys which brings me to step 10 which means to eat to move in right so the whole buying process goes like this you have a realtor you have a loan officer you have your wish list you have your home shopping you pick a home you write an offer you connect with your you loop your attorney in you have your inspection you have your appraisal and now you close and you get your keys and number 10 is that you move into your property or you move your tenants into your property whatever type of um real estate that you just per purchased all right, you all, so that is the steps in the home buying process. I hope that you enjoyed the information and stay tuned for more tips that I think can help you win in the home buying journey. All right, talk to you soon.